she found fame in love actually, was killed in a car crash in Last Tango in Halifax and risked her life as an MI6 agent in Killing Eve. But Nina Sasanya says few roles have made such an impression on her as her latest one in Channel 4's new prison drama, Screw. To play senior warder Lee Henry, a woman running a wing packed with high-risk offenders in a Category B male prison, Nina visited a real jail, met real female officers and was even taught how to search inmates and conduct cell inspections. Nina says it was a revelation. Before I took on the role, I never even realized that female prison officers worked in male prisons, she admits. She soon realized that in the prison system, sometimes it's not just the inmates who become trapped. The mad thing with Lee is that she has clearly become institutionalized, which can happen very, very quickly. There's a kind of safety sometimes in a place that is so controlled, where you know what's going to happen. I think she feels safe there. But it gave me an inkling of how terrifying and claustrophobic it must be to be locked up and to have to deal with that every single day. I can't imagine what it would feel like if I wasn't able to get up and leave. Having your liberty taken away is life-changing. Being inside prison all day, I really craved those moments when I saw the sky. The new darkly funny six-part drama, set in the fictional Long Marsh prison, took four months to make, ironically during lockdown. The experience made Nina, 52, think hard about the criminal justice system. I didn't have an attitude towards prison before and I think that's the point of the show. People go to prison and they disappear and we don't think about them. Neither do we think about the people who have to look after them until it is in the news. We put people into a building altogether but they don't just stop living dash once they've gone behind the gates, their lives carry on. And they all have to try and live together, no matter what each of them has, or hasn't, done, no matter what type of person they are. They're all treated in the same way. If everybody went to the doctor and was given exactly the same prescription for whatever their illness was, it would be carnage. And that's what we're doing with prisoners. We are treating everybody in exactly the same way. The illnesses don't go away and their emotional issues don't go away. In fact, everything just becomes enhanced. After nearly two years of COVID, we all understand that a little bit more too. Families were having to deal with things which, before lockdown, they could walk away from. Tiny little things can become explosive in a moment and I think that's what prison is like dash times 100. Nina, however, is keen to point out that prisons are not entirely bleak. In Screw, there is plenty of banter between her and her group of fellow warders Ali, Faraz Ayub, Line of Duty, Bodyguard, Gary, Stephen White, I May Destroy You, Manhunt, Dawn. Ron Donaghy, Titanic, Game of Thrones, Jackie, Laura Checkley, King Gary, Detectorists, and 21-year-old Rose, Jamie Lee O'Donnell, Dairy Girls. There is laughter, there is humor, there is humanity, there is friendship, there is real life. It's not just violence and drudgery and darkness, insists Nina. To research the role, she spoke to a real-life female prison officer. I asked her lots of questions about how she got into the job, what it is that makes her stay, the issues that arise, the difference between female prison officers and male prison officers, and what the attitudes are, she says. 
Then when we got to Glasgow, we talked to a few prison officers and we had a training day where we were taught how to restrain prisoners when physical incidents occur, how to do searches in a safe way and how to do cell searches in a safe way. We also went to a former prison in Peterhead. It was quite a notorious prison that was eventually closed down in 2013 and is now a museum. Exterior shots were filmed there and we were allowed to have a look inside and it was a shock seeing the small sizes of the cells, the narrow doors and the low ceilings. The interior scenes were filmed on a life-size replica of a prison wing, within a huge building dash Kelvin Hall in Glasgow. The prison we're depicting is a traditional, late 19th century building, she says. It was built over three levels and once you step through the gates, you're actually in this sort of living, breathing prison with 100 or so cells, most of which can open and lock. It's incredible. The detail was so impressive. The doors were heavy. Nothing wobbled about and, because it's over three floors, it gave the shooting a real fluidity. They had built some cells with a wall that could be taken out so they could get the camera in. Rather than only being able to look through the door, it gives the impression that you're in a very, very tiny space, but as the actor you're actually in quite a large space. The technical challenge is to make it feel like a teeny tiny cell and when it's got two walls missing. Calvin Hall used to be a museum and I think they had a circus in there once. But, for us, it was the base for the set production and costume. It's a huge, huge building. Away from filming, Nina, who was raised and lives in London, loved exploring the city. I didn't really know Glasgow before I went there and they have a sign that says people make Glasgow and it's true, they're absolutely lovely. It's a lovely, lovely city. It's so interesting and parts of it are beautiful. I went for walks along the river and the botanical gardens. It's quite a green city, which I didn't expect. Apart from appearing in edgy dramas, Nina's successful career includes notable TV comedies, including Teachers Dash in which she played strict Miss Jenny Page, laying down the law to colleague Andrew Lincoln and sixth former James Gordon Dash and spoof documentary W1A, in which she played a hard-pressed BBC executive. She has also played lead roles with the Royal Shakespeare Company. But of all the careers she has dipped into during her acting career Dash Detective, Spy, Barrister and Number 10 Chief of Staff, to name just a few Dash Prison Officer seems to her to be the most daunting. I don't think I could do that as a job, she admits. I've now got the tiniest, tiniest notion of what it must be like to have the courage and the compassion needed to be a good prison officer. And I don't think I would have that. I think the bravery of people going into that situation every day is huge because they just don't know what they're going to have to cope with. But I guess it's because you have a belief that you can actually make some good changes in some people's lives. And that takes a really special kind of person. Screw starts at 9 p.m. Thursday, January 6th on Channel 4.